welcome back to the comments section. I'm Brett Cooper. I have a very important question for all of you before we start the episode. How many times a day or how often do you think about the Roman Empire? Now, if you are a man, I am sure you have been asked this question already. If you are a girl, I am sure you have seen the TikToks and the Instagram reels and the tweets that you have been asking your boyfriends, your husbands, your brothers, and your fathers this question. It's a very important question to our society right now. The fate of the world is at stake. But I do want you to leave your responses in the comments below because I'm just interested to see what you guys say. But if you have not seen this trend and you are wondering why in the world I am asking you this stupid question, Allow me to explain. Before I do, though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode. Okay, so in case you are not chronically online like I am, there is a trend going on right now where women go up to the men in their lives and ask them how often they think about the Roman Empire. And the answers have been surprising, to say the least. Now, I'm not exactly sure where this whole trend started. I saw it like almost two weeks ago. It was a random reel on Instagram and it just had some text on it and maybe it had like 10,000 likes. And I remember asking a couple of guys thinking, oh, you know, that's funny. And then suddenly there were tweets about it. There were TikToks. It was literally everywhere. But the Washington Post speculates that it might have started with this guy. So maybe this was the precursor to the reel that I saw. And this is from an account where this TikToker talks about the Roman Empire a lot. So it's on brand for him to ask this question. Maybe it started with him. Maybe it started with some wife that got into a, a conversation with her husband about the Roman Empire posted it. I have no idea, but it spread like wildfire. Somebody said the masculine urge to civilize barbarians. Another person said, damn, I am not unique. Another person said, I mean, my cat is named Nero. Anyway, this just took over. You just need to watch these videos. Babe, yeah. how often do you think about the Roman Empire? Three times a day. Elaborate? Just regularly? <laughs> Why? There's so much to think about. That one was one of the more shocking. Three times a day. Because at first I was seeing, you know, oh, you know, maybe like twice a week. And that was even shocking at the beginning. But now we're getting into the weeds with these guys who are thinking about like specifics about the Roman Empire on a daily basis. Those are rookie numbers in this racket. Somebody said, I'm going to need a list of what exact parts of the Roman Empire he's always thinking about. Here's another video. I'm not getting literally for the last 24 hours. I don't know what hit 24 hours ago. Maybe it's that I started working on this episode and then now TikTok knows my For You page is flooded, but I literally can't scroll past one or two videos without getting to this. How many times, like a week, or just how many times in general, do you think about the Roman Empire? What about the Roman Empire? Just anything about it. When was the last time you thought about it? Maybe a week or two ago? <laughs> the Roman Empire was a very big part in history. So you think about the Roman Empire once a week? Sometimes, yeah but not necessarily. I like that he can pinpoint the last time he was thinking about it. Like, oh yeah, probably about a week ago. Like it's that vivid in their minds. Somebody commented and said, I love this new discovery. Another person said, him getting so defensive after you laugh. The Roman Empire was a very big part of history. He was about ready to give you the lore. I actually would love to have any one of these random guys on TikTok, like sit down with a whiteboard and just break it down. I'm educated. I went to school. I sat through many of the same classes as these guys. I learned about the Roman Empire, but I want to know like specifically what parts speak to you the most. Like when you're just walking around thinking about the Roman Empire, I want to know specifics because I'll think about like I'm here in Hungary right now I'm you know walking around oh you know that's a very old building oh I wonder you know what parts of the Roman Empire but I'm I'm I feel like that's that makes sense because I'm here and it's in context if I was back in America I don't think I would be thinking about the Roman Empire literally at all the inner machinations of my mind are an enigma here's another one I'm not getting guys hundreds of these videos do you think about the Roman Empire ever yeah, I guess, sometimes. How often? I don't know. Once a week. How do you not think about the Roman Empire? <laughs> Basically everything that you know and love is because of the Roman Empire. They're not wrong. That's the thing. This isn't like some, it is a discovery, but it should not be surprising. Like everything they're saying makes total sense. Somebody said this proves that the Barbie movie is so real. This is so Ken. Also, just like one hive mind with all the men thinking about the Roman Empire. Another one. How often do you think about the Roman Empire? Once every seven hours. What do you, what do you think about? 
Are you recording me? No. Well, why are you asking me about how often I think about the Roman Empire? Because I'm curious. I feel like it's something you think about. So when you walk by a house with columns, you don't think like Roman Empire? No. What, what do you walk around thinking about? <laughs> not the Roman Empire. I like it's not just the Roman Empire. Sometimes I think about the locals, and, you know, Han Chinese. And sometimes I think about Imperial Japan. You're a very worldly person. So think about Napoleon. He does not even respond. He's just like, yeah, I know. I'm going to keep telling you what I think about. Now, I asked my team this question because I have a very male-dominated team. And they all think about the Roman Empire a lot. Bobby, my producer who does Off the Clock, he's a big history buff and he was very specific. He thinks about World War II almost every single day. Like, that's constantly in his mind, whirling through his mind. Roman Empire, every, every other day or so. Jared, who works on comment section. Oh my gosh, what was his? That was like... Every few days, I think, but he's more interested in the Revolutionary War. Yeehaw, chuckle f And then I was asking some of my other friends, oh my gosh, I texted Amir, guys. I said, do gay men think about the Roman Empire as often as straight men? And immediately he was like, no, why would I? Like, there's no reason to whatsoever. So apparently, it's not all men, but the men that I work with and most of my friends, they do actually think about the Roman Empire a lot. It's not like I lay awake at night thinking about her. Uh-oh. Apparently, men think about the Roman Empire like I think about my dogs, because I think about them literally every single day, especially while I'm in Hungary right now, and they are so far away from me. I get the photos from the dog sitter, and I look at them far too often and I send them to all my friends I'm like, look how cute Rocky looks but I miss them and I love them and there is nothing I would not do for them which is why I care so much about their diet and use rough greens naturopathic Dr. Dennis Black the founder of rough greens is focused on improving the health of every dog in America and I think we all know by now the traditional kibble is dead food it does not have the nutrition that your dog needs every single day which is why you should get rough greens to boost your dog's food back to life rough greens is a supplement that contains all the necessary vitamins minerals probiotics omega oils digestive enzymes and antioxidants that your dog needs every single day. Things that he's probably not getting from conventional kibble. And the best part about Rough Greens is that you don't have to go out and buy some new expensive fancy dog food to up your dog's health regimen. You can just sprinkle Rough Greens on their food every single day and you will be leagues ahead from where you were. Dog owners everywhere are raving about Rough Greens. It supports healthy joints, improves bad breath, boosts energy levels, and so much more. We are what we eat and that obviously goes for dogs too. Like I said, I'm very sad that my dogs are far away from me right now, but I feel better about it because I know that they are being taken care of not only by the dog sitter, but also by Rough Greens because they're still eating it every single day. Now, the team at Rough Greens is so confident that their products will improve your dog's health that they are offering my viewers a free Jumpstart trial bag so that your dog can try it too. This free Jumpstart trial bag can be at your door in just a few business days. So go to freeroughgreens.com slash Brett or you can call 877-66-MY-DOG. Again, that's freeroughgreens.com slash Brett or call 877-66-MY-DOG today. I would be interested in the history of dogs in the Roman Empire and whether they had dogs. They obviously had dogs. I don't know what breeds they had. I'm sure there's breeds that go back to the Roman Empire. That's actually what I should be researching. But anyway, back to this video. <laughs> this commenter said he looks so betrayed when you say you don't think about the Roman Empire. Listen, I'm going to talk about this more at the end, but I have never seen a better explanation for the fact that men and women are not the same and they are not interchangeable. The fact that we do not understand why the other sex is thinking about the Roman Empire or not thinking about the Roman Empire. We could just simplify it down to this. I also asked men on my Instagram what they thought about this and how often they think about it. So if you did not contribute there, you can write your response in the comments here. Jack from Ice Coffee Hour, he said oddly enough quite often. Another guy said at least four times a day, us guys dream about facing an army with swords and shields. Friggin based. Somebody else said I reference them a lot, so three times a week. Somebody else said pretty often for me, at least the historical rise to the fall and what led to it. And guys, I have hundreds of messages, hundreds of responses of detailing what you think about the Roman Empire, how often you think about it. Like men have spent a lot of time thinking about this is all I will say. And this trend has gotten so big that the Washington Post even wrote an article about it and they're trying to investigate it. They got experts to explain why so many men think about this so often. I think you know where this is going. Like I could predict what they're gonna say. The headline reads, how often do men think about ancient Rome? Quite frequently, it seems. And they said, but why does there seem to be a gender divide in who is daydreaming about ancient Rome today. A 
According to historians, one explanation could be that Western societies have historically overemphasized the aspects of Roman history that are associated with masculinity in the popular imagination. How did I know that masculinity would come up? That this is some toxic thing, the patriarchy has been overemphasized in the Roman Empire. Like, I'm sorry. Yes, there were women in the Roman Empire. Who was building the aqueducts? Who was fighting in the Colosseums? I don't think it was women. The stories that men are hearing, that's not toxic masculinity. That's just like hearing the stories of Roman who built Rome and the people who built Rome and who have built most civilizations and societies in world history have been men. That's not a bad thing. Shocker. They go on. Since at least the 19th century, she said, historians have tended to view ancient Rome through the prism of politics and warfare. No shit. Why wouldn't we? It was an incredibly important time. I feel like a dude now. It was a very, very important time politically for us, especially to go back and see what they did and what they did wrong. War was a huge part of it. It was the biggest empire in world history, I think, still. Is it? Or was there a... No, I think it still is the biggest empire ever. Anyway, they say that this is in part as a result of their reliance on elite masculine sources, whatever that means. The horror masculinity, I can't believe we're talking about it. Like, this empire did last for a thousand years. So there may be something to that masculine power and all that infrastructure that the patriarchy built. We may be small, but our hearts are large, metaphorically speaking. WAPA went on and they had to add, you know, a little more 2023 flair. Ancient Rome was of course patriarchal and violent, but it was also a diverse place. There were numerous forms of masculinity. Women could have agency and power and there were multiple gender expressions and identities as well as various sexualities. Historian Cornwell also points out that sextus varius ad vitus Never mind. And I'm going to pretend like I did not butcher that. Some guy in the comments who I'm sure you know all about him, you can tell me all about him. Is frequently presented in ancient sources as experimenting with cross-dressing. Thank you for that. That's really what we wanted to know in this article. That has no bearing on why men are thinking about this whatsoever. You're just trying to spin it so that it fits the narrative of today. But anyway, the Roman Empire fell. Some, by the way, have even speculated that this female empowerment in Roman feminism could have played a role. But anyway, I digress. We don't need to get into that today. Back to the men. It does not shock me that men think about the Roman Empire at all. This trend is obviously funny. I would have not plucked this out of thin air, but now that I'm seeing all these videos and I'm talking to the men in my life, it makes sense that men are thinking and dreaming about a time when masculinity was at its peak. And that's not a bad thing. That's not toxic. And they're thinking about a time when men were warriors and when we built elaborate, beautiful buildings that most people today could not figure out how to construct. And technology and engineering was advanced far ahead of its time. And it especially makes sense when we are basically watching the fall of our own country and some would even say the entire Western civilization right in front of us. And you can definitely find parallels so that end the fall of Rome. So to the credit of all these guys, it actually is pretty relevant, to be honest. I'm really convincing myself. I'm like, actually, this makes a lot more sense. Maybe I should be spending more time thinking about Rome. Nobody should be surprised that men have this innate curiosity with war and the strength of such a dominating empire. And I love this because per usual with these silly, stupid trends, they often show something that's a little more serious and it shows the biological differences between men and women. So then I started thinking, okay, what would the female equivalent to the Roman Empire be? And I got on TikTok and immediately, I didn't even search it. These videos started popping up. This was the original one and a lot of people are stitching this, but this girl asked the question. I am absolutely fascinated by the Roman Empire trend that's happening on TikTok. But what I want to know is what is the female version of the Roman Empire? Like what is something random that we all think about on a very regular basis that is female specific? In her comment section, one girl said definitely the Titanic. I saw that a lot on other stitches. One guy jumped in and said the Eras Tour, which I was about to be like, oh, guys don't know what girls think. I've actually spent a significant amount of time thinking about Taylor Swift and the Eras Tour this year. Congratulations, you played yourself. Like more than I would like to admit, and not just like, oh, I like Taylor Swift, but like thinking about her rise to fame and how she is at like the peak of her career right now, like mega pop star, some would even say like Michael Jackson, Elvis level, Beatles level, it's insane. Is that my Roman empire? That's stupid. And then I wanted to like slap myself in the face and be like, stop thinking about Taylor Swift all the time. The only thing that came into my mind that I think about that frequently was babies. When Bobby said that he thinks about World War II on a daily basis in the Roman Empire every other day, I literally texted back and I said, okay, and I think about babies. I think about the babies that I see on the street. I look at social media pictures of babies. I read books about parenting and raising children and having children. And oh, here's a birth plan. Let me read about that. That's what I spend my time thinking about every single day. At some point, I think about having children. Now, I asked all of you on my Instagram yesterday, asked the girls as well as the guys, because I was so curious. Thankfully, I'm not alone in the baby fever. That was 
like outpaced every other response. But in trying to keep it historical, like in line parallel to the Roman Empire. I saw a lot of people say Princess Diana, which makes sense. This girl said Titanic murder mystery. That adds up with you know, like true crime. Women just thinking about true crime. She also said Henry VIII's wives. This girl said babies for sure are just living as a princess in medieval times or something. And then this made me really happy. A lot of people were talking about Jane Austen. One person said, I'm constantly thinking about the Regency era, Jane Austen vibes. Another girl said, Regency era of England because of Jane Austen. Like, if I could pick one period of time to go back to, and I've said this in every English class, every icebreaker that I have been asked, probably since high school, since I read Pride and Prejudice for the first time, I would go back to the Regency era. So if I had to think about a, a historical time that I have thought about the most, it would be England somewhere around Regency era or going into the Victorian era, maybe some, you know, the Gothic period mixed in there because of, you know, the Bronte sisters. It, I mean, it makes sense. Like I literally spent hours thinking about being in an Austen novel or being in a Bronte novel. What it would be like to be a woman in those period? What would it be like to, you know, wear all of those dresses? And I would be lying if I said I didn't have a certain kind of longing for something that I never experienced but a life that I would love to know, if that makes sense. I don't know if that's what guys are thinking when they're thinking about the Roman Empire. Maybe it's a little more logical than me, you know, imagining like having a governess and reading books and going to balls. But I've literally spent hours of my life dreaming about that and considering what it would be like. So men think about war and technological advancements and women think about having children and living in eras where femininity flourished. Shocker. None of that is toxic or wrong. You shouldn't feel bad about any of that. It's just a fact. And it's something we can all laugh about. And there's obviously truth there. And if that does not answer the question of what is a man and what is a woman, I don't know what will. Thank you for watching the comment section. If you want to see more videos just like this, make sure to subscribe to this channel, turn on your notifications, like this video, and of course, if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I'm Brett Cooper. See you next time.